and welcome to this episode of Bernadette TV. And this is part three in a three part series I've been doing on the three biggest mistakes that people make with their online marketing. And so here we are on episode number th three. And the third mistake that people make is believing that if you do what you love, the money will follow. So um, there was a best-selling book in the 70s by a lady called Marsha Sinatar, and it was called just this. It was called Do What You Love and the Money Will Follow. And um, with all great respect to Martha, I have not found this to be true, and I would just like to modify it slightly. I do think it's important to do what you love, but then the next thing is to connect it to the needs and wants of an audience <laughs> that you can serve. And when you do that, that is when the money will actually follow. Here's what I want you to know. When you match up your skills and talents with the people in the world that really need them, then there isn't gonna be a lot of selling or convincing to be done. And that is the beauty of this. It's like even right now, as you're watching this video, within 10 miles of you, I will guarantee that there is someone who is struggling with a problem that you can solve. You are literally the answer to their prayers. And I've made it my business, and I have made a business from this, of helping you to connect up with the people in the world who really need what you have to offer. So if right now you don't have the world or a percentage of the world beating a path to your door, we need to uncover why. And it could be that you are not speaking specifically or directly enough to your target audience. It's like you, your message isn't landing for them. Or it could be that you haven't even identified yet who it is that you can add the most value to. So it's like the conversation hasn't even started. So you need to get really clear on who you can help. You wanna get really clear on how you can help them. What is the message that you have for this group of people? And then you need to make it your business to get out there and connect with them. And online, that means sharing content, finding places where your target audience is hanging out, contributing some value, and then inviting them to the next step. Step one is normally to start by joining your email list, by downloading your lead magnet, and then after they're on your list, then you're gonna have multiple opportunities to make your offers. And that, my friend, is when the money is going to follow. So my message for you today is I want you to get really clear on who are the people in the world who are struggling with a problem that you can solve and get really clear on what is your message for them. So for example, when I started my first online newsletter, which was um, called Client Magnets, I started the newsletter because I was meeting lots of consultants, other self-employed people like me who were selling primarily to businesses and they, they needed help getting new clients. And I actually felt, I remember at the time thinking that I had a calling, like I had a, a duty and obligation to share with these people what I'd learned that could help them solve their problems. And that's how I got started out with my Client Magnets newsletter. And so sure enough, by sharing that value consistently week after week, I eventually you know, built up a loyal following so that by the time I started creating products and programs and workshops and training courses, I had a ready-made audience of people ready to buy from me. So I call it client cultivation. So it starts with you getting really clear on who you can help. It starts with you deciding and making a commitment to share some value from where you are right now. And when you do that, you have to, at some point, make an invitation for people to buy. There is no getting away from that. But that, my friend, is when the money is going to follow. So I hope this episode has inspired you and I hope it's helped you to identify where some of the gaps might be in your marketing right now. And I would love to hear more from you about how this episode has impacted you. So feel free to leave your comments in the chat below. And I look forward to seeing you on a future episode of Bernadette TV. If you like this video and want to see even more great content on how to grow your online business, then keep watching.